What's up guys, here's Claudio from Visual Modo WordPress Teams and in today's video we're gonna learn how to change the space between columns using the WP Bakery Page Builder plugin. So as we can see here, we have the first column with some text content and another column with the progress bars and between them we have some space, but the space it's too low and we need to increase this space. And in this video, we're gonna learn how to do that. First of all, go to our WordPress dashboard, page, locate the page with the columns, and we're gonna work in the raw, where the columns is placed on. As we can see here, here's the front end, here's the back end. Now, before we can start, just let me to change the padding so we can increase the size in the end of the elements in the end of the elements inside the row we have another video guide explaining how to use space in wordpress and i'm gonna leave the link in the description below and a card over here let me increase it just a little bit more okay done now it's time to work in the space between columns and still on the raw raw settings we're gonna look at the columns gap by default it will be set as zero and we need to change it in the case that you want to increase the size let's try 15 see the difference now here's the one with zero here's the one with 15 now let me increase a bit more It's bigger now, but what if you want it a little more, if you want more space? Let me just apply another column, so you can understand that this gap will work for all the elements inside the raw, independent if you have uh, two columns, three columns, four columns layouts, if it's for all the columns between and inside the raw, where you set this gap. Now, let me reverse and use the column settings. In this, in the design options, we're gonna be able to add a padding, a lateral padding, like a padding right or a padding left. But, as you can see, here you can increase much more the space between the elements, but in this case you need to change each column independently, not only the raw settings. Now, let me just clone the, this first element. Delete its contents and apply another popular element, change the column layout and input the posts grid. This is a very popular element that is used to call blog posts in a grid style or portfolio posts or custom post type posts. We're gonna call the portfolio posts and let's check the results. By default, it has three columns and some space between the columns as well. How to change this space in the posts grid? Go to posts grid settings, scroll down until you see the grid elements per row. By default is three, the number of columns and the gap. Change the size in the gap, for example, for zero, and the space between the columns will be set as zero as well. Now, let's just move to the front-end editor to see the process in the front-end. 
so you cannot see the result immediately and it's done. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, feel free to use the comment section below in the case that you have any question and don't forget to see the visualmodo.com portfolio of amazing WordPress themes with compatibility with all of those plugins. And I see you later. All the best!